Kevin's the funniest guy on the planet. So he would crack up myself, Mark, Regina, everybody else. It was just like an easygoing good time, which is what you want for a comedy. All right. So I want to take it from the top. When did you start working on Meantime and where did the idea begin? It was a few years ago. Uh, I mean, it began with a, a conversation with one of our executive producers who was telling me he was alone without his family for the first time in a while. And that sort of sparked like, maybe there's a movie idea in there. Then I kind of left the idea and I think I went and made another movie and played around with some other stuff. And then I was working on a idea with Wahlberg's character, with the Huck character. And the idea of combining this sort of guy alone without his family and then linking up with this Huck character, it kind of coalesced and that was the genesis of, uh, of the script. And what were Kevin Hart and Mark, Mark Wahlberg like together on set? I heard there's a lot of hijinks. <laughs> a lot of hijinks. I mean, yeah, you know, basically sometimes uh, when people ask that question, you have to lie because the co-stars don't really like each other, but these guys loved each other. <laughs> and so uh, they just cracked each other up. I mean, they, they you know, knew each other a bit beforehand and um, instant chemistry, you know, Mark would always as his character Huck would call everything stupid. And that, that buzzword just made Kevin laugh every single time. Kevin's the funniest guy on the planet. So he would crack up myself, Mark, Regina, everybody else. It was just like an easygoing good time, which is what you want for a comedy. Oh yeah, my interview with them was just like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm not surprised. I'm a big fan of, of a lot of your works. Thank I'm you. curious what quotes you hear in the wild. Like okay. are, are you walking around, you hear just like, yeah, I do hear, I hear some things from I Love You, Man. You know, you hear Totes My Goats or Jobin or Latris on the Menje, mm -hmm. you know, some of those ridiculous things Paul Rudd says. <laughs> um, you know, you hear stuff like even going for, as far back as Along Came Polly, you know, Let It Rain and some things that Philip Seymour Hoffman said. Oh, my God, that scene, like, I just, <laughs> I, to this day, anytime anyone that I know throws something in the trash— it's okay. like we're always just like, okay. Kobe, let yeah, it rain. There you, go. <laughs> you know, I mean, you get a lot of Zoolander stuff. I mean, even though that movie is like 20 years old or something like that, you know, people still quote that. So, you know, it's been fun. It's fun. You know, I, I love it when, you know, you're like, all right, I guess that's stuck around for people. Yeah. Is there anyone that's like surprised you that it? Sometimes people respond to random things. Like there's a there's a character in I Love You Man called Hank Mardukas. Oh, and my best what, friend. <laughs> yeah, there you go. And people will bring him up. And I'm like, God, you've really watched that movie closely. You know, so things like that take me by surprise and and I love it. My friend and I, like to this day, we've been doing it since college, we'll like go into the bar and he'll always order something and then be like, and something with sour mix in it for her. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that was a great, I think that was a John Favreau improv. Uh Hilarious. But you get, yes, yeah, some stuff from Why Him comes up once in a while, too. You know, uh, I don't know if I can say that what, what people say on, on, on a nice PG uh, rated interview, but uh, <laughs> it was James, right? You know, we're online. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. I mean, people say double dicking <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from Why Him. So, you know, it's the little things. That is there a going. line from Me Time you feel like it's going <laughs> to? I don't like to predict. I, I think there might be a moment or two, but, you know. Uh, I like to kind of see what, what connects with people and go from there. I want to ask a little bit of a spoilery question because I'm okay. a big fan of, of Seal. I, I said my ideal concert is okay. Seal doing a concert and then he does six encores and they're all Kiss from a Rose. Okay. And, and yep. like everyone keeps leaving and then it's just like, ba -da -da, <laughs> it just keeps happening. Then he's just singing it to you directly. Yes, just That's to it. me. Okay. Um, but I'm also a big fan of Popstar and he did a cameo in that. That's right. So I feel like he's yeah. kind of like a cameo king at this point. I know. I mean, to be honest, when I was talking with him, I forgot that he was in Popstar. So I was like, have you ever been in a movie before? He's like, yeah, I was in Popstar. And then I remembered. Um, but he, he, the man is delightful. Uh, great sense of humor. Great with the crowd. You know, he played after we had rapped and played acapella and just, just so cool. You know, kind of as a thank you for the crowd who's hanging around for 10 hours, you know, watching him do his thing. He was... He, it, that was like one of the most fun days of the entire shoot. Of course he did that. Yeah. Oh, seal. yeah. He's Seal. He's the coolest man ever. Is there a comedian that you haven't worked with yet that you would love to work with? Or maybe a non-comedian, just oh someone you kind of see something in there. It's not fair for me to say. There are so many. <laughs> There's so many. I know. I mean, I've been, I've been able to work with some incredible, incredible people, but um, there's a, I have a long list, but I keep it to myself because I don't want to jinx it. Thank you so much, John. Yeah. I, another one, I, again, you're going to watch The Wonder Emporium? It's just like, I love that oh, movie. <laughs> you really know the movie. You're going, that's a deep cut. I know. It's that just like, is a deep cut. You find different things every time you watch it. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Appreciate it.